what's going on youtube and welcome to midnight scenes a safe place if you've never heard of the midnight scenes games before they're very unique horror games and they are incredible so anyways i was excited when i saw that this game released today and i bought it the second that i saw and then i got an email from the developers with a key to the game which i already own so in this video somewhere there is a steam key hidden you can go ahead and redeem that if you find it anyways this is a brand new i think home invasion horror game i'm not entirely sure but i am sure that it's going to be a good time so as always if you do enjoy the video and want to see more content like this make sure to like and subscribe and welcome to the full gameplay of midnight scenes a safe place Christ, man. Bad dream, I'm guessing, because the door is blocked. Oh, yeah. Damn nightmares. Phil's just like me. Look at him. He's got the, the two monitors over here, the chair, the computer, the pizza box. I don't have a pizza box, but... And he's in his room. Phil. Indeterminate day. 920. <laughs> yeah, this is me. I don't know what day it is today either. 9.20. Okay, my phone's ringing. Healthy life will have to wait. <laughs> That's not me. That's not me. Confirm. Elkmore, Washington. Is that what I said? We in Washington? <sighs> I've been living in my bedroom for 30 days. I remember the moment I opened the door for the last time. Looking into the dark hallway, I froze. A sense of intense dread overcame me. I could only lock the door and hide under the bed sheets. Ugh. I haven't gone out since then. From that day forward, I stopped being Phil, the reliable, well-behaved, hard-working son, and became a parasite in my parents' home. As father likes to remind me, I'm ashamed to my family and this community. Damn. That's kind of sad. There are times when I feel like I should try to go out just one more time in case it's all a bad dream. Oh, we're gonna do that today. Oh my God. Okay, uh, but it never works. Yeah, okay, okay. Shadows keep harassing me day and night. Faceless nightmares that invade my mind. What do they want from me? Jesus. My sanity hangs by a thread. I'm only able to satisfy my basic needs. Everything else is beyond my brain's capacity. Okay, so I can eat, pee, warm myself, or socialize. Maybe maybe we should eat and then pee and then starve and see what I can get for breakfast. Pause uh, it. Is that where we keep our food at? Oh my god, bro. Uh, what do we have on the menu today? Pee bottles. Oh, oh, this is fuck this. Oh, that is so gross. Uh, how about some yakisoba noodles? Now I just have to heat it up. All right, put it in the cooking pot. Phil, my man. That's just, this is wrong, bro. Uh, 
Uh. Phil. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I understand. We're gonna get through this together, Phil. I got you. Let's clean it up. Uh, noodles were good. Now let's break out one of those bottles. So what happens when we run out of bottles and food? Is there like a hatch for my parents to deliver stuff to? Uh, pee. Time to break out the bottle. My bladder's gonna burst. I hope I have some empty bottles left in the closet. I think there was some. I think. Yeah, we got an empty bottle. Let's grab one of those. Oh, yeah, we still got it. This one will do. <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> well, that's better. I'll put the bottle back in the closet. All right, Phil. Um, I, I think th two, three, four, five. Five bottles full to the brim with pee. I think it's time to throw them in the trash can. Where's the trash can? Oh, I see. I can't just throw the bottles from up here. I'll need a bag and a rope to slide them down carefully into the trash can. This is insane. A bag and a rope? Uh, okay. Wait, cabinet? Maybe there's something in here? Not now I need to throw the bottles in the trash can. Okay, we have a cardboard box. Oh, here's here's a string. Fishing line, that'll work. Souvenir from the hunting and fishing expeditions with father. Finally, I can put this thing to practical use. Finally, anime con. <sighs> anime con 2018, my first kiss with a fellow cosplayer. Anime con 19, I placed six in that year's cosplay awards. What's this? What are these keys for? Who knows? Okay, well, I got the fishing line. Great, now I need to find a bag to put the bottles in. Uh, what about in the bin? Bag to put the bottles in. I have everything I need now. Now let's lower the bottle into the trash can. Okay. Let's do that. I have to lower the bottles carefully inside the bag so that they don't break. Okay. Well, let's do it then. How do I... Oh, oh, do I have to, like, craft it? There we go. All right, now I should be able to do it. Okay. Okay. Here we go! <laughs> it's kind of impressive, Phil. Uh-oh. The wind's kind of blowing it. Oh, shit! Oh, no! It's stuck in the tree! The, uh, the I hate when I get my bag of piss bottles in the tree. No! We gotta, we gotta rip it out. We gotta yank it off. <gasps> Phil... Ah, oh, shit, I cut. That's kind of a bad cut. Oh, God. So much blood. Texas Chainsaw Massacre levels of gore. We should probably do something about that, bro. And he passed out. Okay. Well. Hope that's mom or dad. Oh, it is mom. How the hell do I let mom in when I've got this shit all boarded up like that. Philip, what was that noise? Is everything all right? Are you hungry, dear? I baked some pancakes for you with syrup and extra butter, your favorite. Philip? Honey, it's been exactly a month since you locked yourself in your room. Your sister and I miss you very, very much. And your father's losing his patience. Do you think you could come out just this one time and have breakfast with us like a family? Uh, I want to, mother. It's just that I can't. <laughs> it's okay. I'm leaving the pancakes right here behind the door. This afternoon, I'll pick them up uneaten as always. I have everything I need in here. God, what does he have to punish me like this? He's such a bad mother. That's what you get for letting him go to anime con, mom. 
Ah, oh, she's gone, finally. Just kidding, anime's cool. I like anime. Just kidding. I have to patch this wound before I bleed out. The sock will do. I only wore it twice. Mental note, next time I slide a trash bag out the window, I should use gloves. What a mess. I hate seeing mother suffering. I'm like father. I know she tries to understand my condition. I'd like to tell her that I feel safe here. But I'm so ashamed of it all that words get stuck in my throat. Oh. I don't feel bad oh, for oh. Philip. Uh, well, I guess let's is socialize on the computer. Let's socialize. Oh. Spying on the neighbors is not exactly virtuous, but what the hell? It's not like I have many ways to relive my relieve my loneliness here. We're gonna spy on the neighbors. Hell yeah, I like a little people watching. Not now. I want to see what's happening in the outside world. Telescope. We gotta open the window for. See, I was gonna do that. Let's see what the neighbors are up to out here. Well, there's the gas pump. Mr. Timbers fills the tank every day, sometimes more than once. I wonder where he's driving. I don't know. That's a lot of gas. In this economy? No way, dude. All right. Not too much exciting happening at the gas station. Ooh, is that blood? Some birds eating some blood, it looks like. Uh, crack in that window, maybe? This is kind of fun. I kind of like this. Oh, I thought it was Hayden for a second. Hay Hayash Groceries. There's a dog running off, too. Hmm. That kind of looks like blood, too. I think, I think it's just my paranoid brain. Who are these guys? They're just... Oh! <laughs> Mrs. Potter's a hardcore atheist. Our former pastor learned his lesson fast, but poor Father Adams moved here just a few days ago. Damn. Sorry, Father Adams. Uh, Sunday... Oh, oh, this is, this is mass right here. Okay. What about over here? Oh, well, there goes the snowman's head. Hmm, nothing too exciting else otherwise. Oh, she looks cute. Oh, Noelle. She's not gonna be into you, piss bag. Oh. L. <sighs> and there's Brian, of course. Damn idiot. You don't have any chance with Noel. Leave her alone. Can't you see she's in a hurry? What are you going to do about it, Phil? I don't know. She kind of looked like she liked Brian, dude. Okay, now this is creepy. Now it's uh, us following her with the telescope's a little creepy. Wait, blood? Was there blood there before? The pastor get his ass beat by old ma'am Jenkins? Ah, she's gone. Noelle Hayashi, the only person in this damn town who doesn't judge me. Or maybe she just hides her disgust. Used to work in her mother's grocery store during the holidays to earn some extra money. I miss that life so much. Nowadays, Noelle sneaks into my garden once or twice a week to bring me food. If it wasn't for her, I'd be dead for sure. Ah, <sighs> uh, Noelle. Such an extraordinary human being. Uh, unlucky, bro. Well, I guess let's warm myself. My hands are frozen. I need to warm up the room. Do we have a, 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 a that's the heater right there. Where'd I leave the lighter? The lighter? Must have put it somewhere around here. The lighter? Oh, there you are. Oh, damn. First try. How'd you end up inside a pot of noodles? Okay. I'm going to drag the lighter under the heater. Light the heater. Okay. Cool. Nice and toasty. Much better. All right. 
Every day is exactly the same to me, indistinguishable from the rest. Just sleep, eat, watch TV. But it's this constant routine that helps me stay sane. I'm lucky enough to not have mother and father knocking on my door. I consider it a great day. <sighs> Phil. What are we going to do about you, Phil? Hmm. Video games, right? Just watch TV. No video games. Hey, Phil. Noel here. Oh, oh. Are you ready for our date? This must be a dream. Well, what movie are we watching tonight? Noel convinced me to have a movie night date every few days to cheer me up. We watch a horror flick together while we chat. Aw. I fancy something mild. How about kill and let kill? Good choice. I like romance. <laughs> Twin Pines, 1986. A lake town full of drunk teenagers celebrating summer. Nothing can go wrong. Hey, how's your day going? Uh, slightly better now that I'm talking to you. His riz, riz levels are over 9,000. You're my only friend left. Uh, don't be silly. Honey, did you leave the shed light on? Damn kids, they must have snuck into my garden again. I'm gonna teach <clears throat> I'm gonna teach them a lesson. <laughs> Sorry, my balls just dropped. I was worried. You haven't logged in for hours. <sighs> I'm sorry. I've been dozing off, on and off the whole day. I'm very tired. This is my last try. Are you sure you don't want my therapist number? Come on, she's a beast. She helped me recover from my depression and it was a deep one. And she's an anime geek too. That's a nice extra. I'll think about it, I promise. Hello? Anyone there? Jump scare incoming. Probably a cat. <laughs> it's a cat. <laughs> there it is. One point for me. You've seen too many B movies. So, how are you doing? Well, you know, I'm crazy busy at the grocery store. With this cold, it's home delivery orders all the time. You know how it is. There was no one, honey. I must have left the light on. By the way, I don't know if I should tell you. This year's anime con tickets are already available. Uh-oh, slasher time. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. Are you going to anime con? I don't know yet. It'd be weird. Without you, my loyal cosplay partner. You should def. <sighs> Please don't go without me. You should definitely go. You should definitely go. You should definitely go. You can't break the tradition. I guess. Sorry to leave you hanging. We put a lot of work into our costumes during the year, and now I fear I won't be sharing those special moments with you again. Of course you will. You'll get over this little bump. You'll see. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> not movie for me. Gonna hit the hay. Mom will kill me if I show up late at the store tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Phil's throwing, man. I wish I had the strength to go to the convention with you, Noel. I'm fighting to leave this room every damn second. But in the meantime, I can only go back to my memories of us together over and over again. From a time when I was capable of being a supportive friend when you needed one. Man. <laughs> came as soon as I could. What happened? <laughs> Asshole, I punched that stupid bastard's face and I ate him. Who? Oh, I don't understand. My father. I got home and found mom crying her eyes out big and chocolate pump pump cakes. She had already cooked seven batches when I arrived and the eighth was already in the oven. You know what that means? Uh, an excessively high carb diet? No. No, <laughs> you idiot. Mom bakes plum cakes like a maniac when she feels depressed. Dad confessed to her this morning what she had suspected for months. He's been having an affair with a student in his class. Damn. 
He says he loves her and he wants to start a new life with her and... Damn, I'm sorry, Noel. Guess we're... I guess we're not enough for him. Fucking son of a... Hey. You know what? You two are better off without him. Hayashi women are true warriors. If he's not up to par, then there's the door. Your mother's tough as nails it. And you? Look at you. You got your second cosplay award at Anime Con. Ah! Show, me, show me your war cry. <laughs> Phil, stop. This is the least comforting speech in history. Damn. But thank you. I love you for trying. Oh. So cute. Aw oh, man, Phil, we gotta get over this, bro. You gotta you got a good one waiting for you. We gotta we gotta we gotta figure this we gotta figure this shit out, man. Okay. Here we go. Good morning. Another day in the life. Another day, just like the rest. Wonder if this is gonna be my life from now on. Just taking up space in my parents' house like a piece of furniture. At least I can buy food with my own money. That makes me feel a little less like a parasite. How do you make money? Are you working online? Which reminds me, I'm super low on supplies. He must be a Twitch streamer. Purchase food online. Yeah. How, how, do, how do you have money? If I place my order now, Noel will bring it over this afternoon. I feel like I'm abusing her generosity, but... Seeing her face up close always brightens my day. What a showering, bro. Well, you probably smell... That room probably smells like ass. Heart Essence, Hayashi Groceries Online. Granny Gertrude's tomato soup. Oh, we've already added them. So we're getting uh, some tomato soup, 12 of them. Uh, spicy yakisoba noodles, 12 of them. Stan's corned beef, 12 of them. Gas, kitchen lighter, bottled water. Your card on fire has expired is out of funds. Transact transaction was declined due to insufficient funds in your account. Please contact your bank. What the? Is there something wrong with my card? Card temporarily canceled. Canceled? Shit, father. You've gone too far this time. What am I supposed to do now? Mm. I don't know. Let's go... Um, let's see here. I don't need to search anything right now. Open here. Uh, uh. Enlarge your penis now? Paul. I'm not putting the cursor near that. I mean, maybe you're not, but I am. Uh, dear Phil, your middle yard team hopes that everything's going well and that you had a chance to review our invitation to be part of the ski instructor's department once again. We hope that your lack of replies due solely to schedule incompatibility. Ah, oh, miss you too. Oh. Last call. Phil, this is my third and final Sorry. attempt to contact you. You let me down, dude. This far into the semester and you just disappear? Where am I supposed to find a new final project partner now? You know how much I need this grant. Not everyone was born wealthy, you know? Fucking shit, dude. What's heart essence? Write your worries here and let them go. I think my girl can't stand me anymore. She's gonna leave me for that stupid ass Trevor. Martin Plummer. My back hurts so much. It's definitely a tumor, right? I know it is. What the hell is this? I want to see mine. Defending my thesis tomorrow. Okay, okay. I don't give a shit about this. Um, all right. Uh, what do we do now, Phil? <gasps> Damn it, Piper! Sister? What? Is someone there? Hello? Oh, you're Phil's ghost, aren't you? My brother used to sleep in that room, but he locked himself there a month ago. We never heard from him again. I think he died. Very funny. If the music bothers you so much, you're free to come turn the volume down yourself. I like it. Damn, kid. Piper, my sister. A real whirlwind. She definitely knows how to make our lives less boring. Yeah. Uh oh. What's this? She's strong, Jacob. She'll make it. 
Is she gonna die, Father? Don't be stupid. I need a smoke. Who lives, who dies? That's not for us to decide, Phil. Only God guides our destiny. I need a Snickers bar. Uh-oh. Keep fighting, sis. When you get out of here, I'll always be by your side taking care of you. I went from only child to overprotective older brother. Mother told me I had to be Piper's superhero and always have her back. Over time, Piper grew up into a different girl, and God knows she suffered father's abuse more than anyone would ever deserve. I try to shield her from his wrath like a real superhero would, but I don't think I do a very good job. Well, I feel like you probably have to be out of your room to do that. Now I lack the strength to be out there for her. I hate myself for that. <laughs> oh shit. This house is a mess. Uh oh. Nothing? Phil. Indeterminate day. 2.45 p.m. <gasps> Who's that? Dad? Is it dad? It's dad. Won't you even answer? Have you gone deaf in there? I've been working my butt off to give you and your sister a good life. And what do I get in return? A demon child and a slacker. What the hell happened to you, son? You weren't like this before. <laughs> the situation's getting very tiring. Your poor mother gets up early every morning to bring you your favorite breakfast, and you just leave it here to rot. At least the answer delighted. Maybe the time's come for drastic measures. Like canceling my bank account? You should thank your mother for stopping me. I would have drug you out of here by your feet a long time ago. Jeez. Drastic measures. Oh, God. Just a panic attack. Calm down. You're good, Phil. You're fine. You're chilling, bro. All good. It's all good. <sighs> my father. My fucking father. If belittling his children was a sport, he'd be the unbeatable champion. How could Piper and I compete against our family's history of greatness and success? My great-grandfather built a logging empire from the ground up, making him one of the richest businessmen in the region. Great grandpa. <laughs> then my grandfather inherited the company. He too was a person of great importance in this town. Oh, but the next chapter is the one he usually skips. Dad. In less than 10 years, my father managed to ruin the company and the lives of all the families who depended on it. But no matter what, he still wants everyone to believe he's a big shot. So he spends his time being an asshole to everyone around him. Mm-hmm. I heard that. Last night, your batteries are full. Let's go. Oh, you slept 10 hours and 23 minutes. It's 30 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a chilly one. It's a really cold one. All right, let's do some jumping jacks or something. Phil, what a nice way to wake up. Okay, Phil, take a deep breath and focus on your morning routine. Noodles, piss bottle, and social life. Noodles. There we go. The noodles. Yummy, yummy. I know that bedroom reeks. I know that bedroom fucking reeks. <laughs> All right, Phil. What do you say we do something good today? Thoughts? All right. This will message Noel. Hey, good evening. What a storm we had. Snowplows are smoking. Anyway, movie time. Did you know the 60s classic Space Ravagers is on Gotham? 
You want to watch it? <sighs> I don't have a subscription anymore. I'm afraid my father canceled my bank account. <gasps> what? Can he do that without your consent? Uh, I mean, he can and he did. Yeah. What a prick. Don't worry, though. I have a friends and family sub. An invite is on the way. Oh, you got an invite. Except that. What are we watching? It's a 60s film? Space Ravagers. Cool. Something happened this morning. You know, I suspect that Brian has a big crush on me. <laughs> well, he finally asked... Oh, shit. He finally asked me out. Hey, are you there? What'd you say? I think my reaction was something like... I just told him I was late for work. And that uh, we should talk about it later. You didn't reject him? I thought you weren't interested. I know. But we talk a lot lately. He's cool and funny and smart. And he's kind of cute. Anyway, my brain's a mess right now. Signals are abnormal. The Earth is in danger. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. Or I'll screw up like always. Have mercy. If you destroy the Earth, you'll kill millions of innocent people. Innocent? You pointed your weapons at Mars, slaying many of my people. But you'd be punishing all of humanity for the crimes of a few. Perhaps you have the truth on your side, human. But we have the lasers here. <laughs> what a bastard. Yeah, thank goodness it's just science fiction. Anyway, hey, you didn't order food from the online shop yesterday. Is it because of your bank account? I'll talk to mom. She won't mind lending you some food. We do the same with Miss Potter at the end of every month. I'm sorry to be a burden. Hey, don't start, okay? You're not a board burden nor a piece of shit that no one cares about. You're a smart and caring guy going through a rough time. That's all. And you are my guardian angel. <laughs> Cute one, Phil. Too bad she's seeing Brian now. <sighs> It is what it is, I guess. Nighttime. Are we going to wake up during the night? See, we haven't had any nighttime action yet. My computer on? Or is that the TV? That's my computer, that's the TV. I'm gonna lower my revs. What are revs? What's a rev? Shit. Did I leave the TV on? I'm a mess. Yeah, you kind of been a mess, bro. That's kind of old news. Still suffering from the effects of unending cold wave. We haven't seen a snowstorm like tonight since 1964. Remember to put your warmest clothes when leaving the house and avoid dress driving unless necessary. And most important of all, don't miss this evening's episode of Midnight Scenes, written and directed by Sylvia Gardner. In Dance of Spring, Miss Lawrence will find her house invaded by a hive of mutant alien ants. Sounds terrifying. Hmm. Let's check how bad the storm is. You gotta look out the telescope to see how bad the storm is? There's a dog. Did it again, well done. Anything else over here? Gas station's boarded up. Was it boarded up before? Probably. Hmm. Uh, what is that thing? Oh, 
Hayashi Rui. Oh god. My heart's gonna explode. Watch the bird, bro. Anything else? Oh. Yikes. All the collection money will go to fixing the bell tower. This cold wave will end up sweeping the whole town. Cold and windy. Yikes. Damn, the whole sign is messed up, too. What up over here? The snowman head fell off ages ago. Oh, it's Brian. You shameless rat. <laughs> Damn. And then this is, uh... Oh, here she goes. Uh-oh. 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 We're gonna see something we don't want to see here, I fear. <sighs> there you are, Brian the Stalker. What a coincidence. You always show up when Noah goes to work. Okay. Nothing bad happened. I mean, I mean, Phil, like, you're kind of being stalkery, too, with the telescope, you know, like... Leave me alone, you've ruined my life! Uh-oh. Oh. Don't you dare raise your voice at us. Who do you think you are? I'll teach you how to show some respect. You don't care about me at all, I hate you! <laughs> Is that true, Jacob? Are we horrible parents? Both of our children hate us. They don't even want to see us. What are you talking about? Of course not. But don't worry. I'll find a way to keep these in ingrits under check. We can't allow these attitudes any longer. It's just that Lord's testing us. There's no doubt about that. But I know we're doing a good job. Our friends, our neighbors, I hear them in the church. They're whispering about what's happening in this house. Have faith. Everything will be fine. That's kind of awkward. Oh, let's see uh, what Piper has to say. Hey, hello? Piper, you okay? Ah, oh, look who decided to break his vow of silence. What, what happened? <laughs> Leave me alone, you don't give a shit either. Is it because of that boy Jake? Whatever it is, I'm sure there's a solution. Sure. I can always follow your example and lock myself in a room for a while. Damn. He's been acting very weird lately and suddenly he told me he's trying it again with Amanda, is that? Aww. It's all father and mother's doing. They never approve of my relationship with Jake. They talked to his parents and scared him. But this was just another mark on the wall for father. He rejoices in my humiliation, and mother's too stupid to even care. I'm drowning in this fucking house. And now, just when I need you the most, you log yourself in there. I never felt so alone. Piper, I... No, fuck you. You're just as shitty as them. Ah. Damn. Sigh. I'm so sorry, Piper. Phil, we gotta fix it, dude. I think... I think... Oh, what? What the hell? What the hell is this? I don't know. What is it? Find the password. What is this? A private in initiation? What? I gotta find these things? Prospero? Oh, well, here's Prospero. Password correct. Paul. Oh, that was pretty quick. Puzzle K okay, Inferno. Hmm. What is this? Oh, it's a puzzle. Okay, looks like that goes there, and that might go. That's a corner piece. Uh, or does that? No, that must go up there. That must go like. I don't really know. That also is some. I don't know. Or is that? that wait. Looks like, looks like maybe that goes there. I have no idea. It's hard to tell. They all look like edges. It's hard to say. That must be that right there. Um, 
Let's see, and then this connects to... Hmm. This is kind of a mess, isn't it? Oh, that's a face right there, so I guess that must be... Maybe that isn't the corner piece. And there's the lips of the face? I mean, it... Oh, oh, that just locked into place, which means that was actually... Okay, oh, that's the only one that I have in the right place so far is that one. Well, that's good. I, I needed a start of some sort. Then that must go right there. Uh, then that goes there. Okay, and then that goes there. That goes there. Uh, that goes there. That goes... There. 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 And there. Who's that? Okay. Now it's finally a horror game. Oh, it's another dream. Somebody's on my phone though. Oh. Phil. Indeterminate day. 9.30 p.m. Another nightmare. What the hell's wrong with me? I no longer know if I'm sleeping. These shadows that stalk me in my dreams, I feel like they're trying to show me something. Point me to a specific path. What does it all mean? Shit, my brain's about to melt down. What's on the phone? 85% of our users achieve their daily goal. You can still do it. Good for them. Negative two degrees. Holy shit. Wow. Is it night already? Hmm. Not like it matters. Hungry. Ran out of food. Unless Noel brings me some supplies tomorrow, I'll die here. I'm freezing. Go to the stupid cold wave end. I need to warm up the room. You need something, bro. We need to get you up and moving, Phil. We gotta we gotta do something about this, bro. It's a problem. Ah, oh, much bet. <laughs> oh, come on. I ran out of gas, of course. What is that? A note? I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. You are not just as shitty as them. It's just that I feel very lonely and overwhelmed. But I love you. Fiber. Aww. Dude. Phil, we gotta snap out of it. You got good people around you, bro. We gotta, we gotta snap out of it. Thanks for your apology note, sis. I know it sucks living in this house, but I'm here for you no matter what. No matter what, huh? Go back to your coffin, Phil's ghost. I'm tired. Sure. Good night. Piper's sweet. Kind of. She's a good little sister, it seems. What should I do now? <gasps> oh, shit. What was that? Again? Where's the flashlight, Ro Oh, the power went out. Looks like a blackout. Oh. Indeed. The town's pitch dark. Electrical station hasn't been updated since World War II. There's no way it can withstand a cold wave like this. Well, let's have a look around, shall we? Uh, there he is. Seriously, Tim? Tim always filling his car up. Um, Phil must be made out of, or Tim, Tim must be made out of money. Gas prices like these. Oh, oh my God, okay, that actually kind of scared me. Yikes. So what are, what are we even gonna see? But poor cat, bro, go get the kitty. Don't let it freeze and die. Uh, okay. Oh, they got something going on in there. Oh, it's mass time. Sunday, 9 a.m. to 8. Wait, is it 9 a.m. and 8 p.m. that mass starts or 9 to 8? That's crazy church hours. <gasps> what the hell? Uh-oh. 
The fuck is that thing? Don't look at me, bro. <gasps> but I, it gets me every time. I always think it's real, and it's never real. It's always a dream, and I always think it's real. It's always a dream. Noel. Wednesday. Oh, we're playing as Noel. We finally get to leave this goddamn bedroom. 8 a.m. Here we go. Oh, from one bedroom to the other. <laughs> Today is my day. <laughs> oh, she's going to go tell Brian yes. Well, she's not because I think Brian. Oh, no, that was it was it wasn't real. It wasn't real. It wasn't right. It wasn't real. I don't think. A little coffee. Oh, it's a cupcake. Oh, it's her birthday. Okay, okay. I need to stop assuming things because I'm wrong always, basically. Mm. Happy birthday. Mm. Hope it's not a voucher for a motherly hug. Mm. Some orange juice. No pulp. Just the way I like it. Black coffee. First caffeinated beverage. Like a grown-up. If I could go back and remove one thing I did, it would be trying my first caffeinated beverage. Chocolate cupcake, yum. Uh, did you think I forgot? I woke up early to bake a batch. Aw, you're the best. Aww. Happy birthday, honey. Thanks, mom. Uh, perhaps my coming of age includes a pay raise. <laughs> nice try. You still have years of learning ahead, honey. You can take the afternoon off and celebrate with your friends. Oh, and don't forget to open that envelope. Hope you like the contents. Hmm. She got a good mom. What up, neighbor? Happy birthday! Uh-oh. Aw, Brian, you remembered. Thank you. Was I the first one? Tell me I was. Yeah. Sure, you were. Would you like to hang out with me after work? I got a present for you. Ooh. Oh, really? <laughs> In that case, I'd love to. Oh. But I need to go to Larners first. Phil needs some supplies. Come with me. Uh-uh. Uh, probably a bad idea. I don't think Phil likes me much. But it's kind of mutual, to be honest. Yeah, I noticed. I'll call you later, okay? Awesome. Have a super duper amazing day. How would you know the Phil didn't oh. like you? How cute. There's a, like, well, maybe maybe it was from before he locked himself. I guess the locked in the house thing's only been the last month. So it could have been from before then. Oh, this is nice that I can actually move around a little. Okay, so we're going to where? Larners to get some supplies. There's the church. Who's this? Uh oh. Good morning, Noel. I'm so glad to see you. Morning, Father Adams. On your way to work. Yeah, winter's crazy busy. So many home whatever's. I can imagine your mother's very lucky to have you. The Lord and I, on the other hand, have very little work these days. In this cold wave, people don't feel like leaving their houses. Hmm. Does look like a ghost town, doesn't it? Do you think I could convince you to come to Mass this Sunday? I'd be very happy to preach for someone besides the stone walls. Uh, I'm not particularly religious. Oh, that's fine. My mentor used to say you don't need to believe in zombies to enjoy a horror movie. Haha. <laughs> My sermons are quite fun, I promise. I'll think about it. Oh, and bring your friend Phil, too. I haven't seen him on the basketball court for weeks. Yeah, well, he's having a rough time. Sorry to hear that. I'll stop by the learners one of these days to say hello. Well, I won't keep you any longer, Noel. It's lovely to see you. Say hello to your mother. Say hello to your mother. <sighs> Am I watching her in the telescope now? I must have been, huh? Oh, we get to go in the store. Cool. Okay. Back to the mines. 
Apples. Oh, am I working right now? Oh, there's a worm on one. Oops, we have a guess. Mom's gonna go crazy. Are we selling Koopa's cherry juice again? Gross. That's gross. Okay, uh, fridge. It's in the fridge. Oh, oh, that's what I just clicked on. Cash register. Today is payday. What's this? Oh, it's mom. Thanks for the often gift, mom. I'm excited to go to Anime Con. Oh, is that what was in the envelope? I wish I had someone to go with. You have two tickets now. Maybe Phil will break his lockdown and go with you? I don't think you can choose when to feel ill or not, mom. Well, what about that boy, Brian? Seeing you spend a lot of time together. Um, Brian doesn't care about anime. Brian has never seen an anime in his life, but who knows? I might be able to drag him into the cult. Hey, mom. Hmm. About Phil. His parents canceled his bank account and he can't order food. Mm -mm. Stop right there. The answer is no, we don't do loans. But mom. Phil has a family who takes care of him. He's not our responsibility. Phil's parents don't care about him. Those parents only want to keep up appearance. They don't care about his mental health. And we give free food to Mrs. Potter. She, is she our responsibility? She has no one. It's not the same. Please, Mom, he needs our help. That's enough. I'm not going to be the villain in this movie. Bring him whatever you want, but it will come out of your pocket. Hmm. Okay, I guess that's fair. And now go change. We have work to do. Wamp, <laughs> wamp. Noel. Wednesday... 5.05 p.m. On her birthday, by the way. Still. Oh, this is nice. It's pretty out. There's a dog. It's in the, oh, the bag for Phil. There's an ad. Oh, Help us save Sparkle. Our kitten was attacked by two crows oh, on Main no. Street. Oh, we saw that. Ha Did we see that happening? We don't have enough to pay for vet expenses. We need your help. Donate now at... Aww. Not the kitty. Oh, shit. I don't even want to know. A little bloody snow pile. Jeez. To Phil's house. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's be careful. I don't want the learners to catch me bringing stuff to Phil. I'll leave the bags under his window. Look at the... Look at the... You can see the scent. That trash can gotta be nasty. I should let him know the bags are out here or the bottles explode in this cold. Just throw something at the window. I need to get Phil's attention somehow. Uh, let's see. Wait. No, go back. Oh, a rock. A rock. Take that. This'll do. It's a little, uh, little Romeo and Juliet story. Hopefully with a better ending. Throw the rock. Oh, here. This is weird. <laughs> he made a heart with his hands. Oh, she's fucking off. <laughs> she ain't it. She ain't interested. Noelle's not interested. It's probably Brian, eh? You're the best. I don't know what I'd do without you. I should probably tell her happy birthday. Don't thank me. You owe me $74. Oh, I added a complimentary chocolate bar. To celebrate my birthday. Oh shit, I forgot. Sorry. Sorry. It's hard to keep track of the calendar in here. Happy birthday! Don't sweat it. You owe me $74 and a nice gift. Promise. By the way, make sure to close your waste containers tightly. Your garden smells horrible. Yikes. Sorry. That's fucking gross, Phil. I'll be more careful next time. That is fucking gross. I'm out of here. My ass is freezing. Enjoy the chocolate bar. Phil, I'm getting secondhand embarrassment here, man. Yikes. <laughs> I got the groceries, though. Thank goodness. One more day without food, and I'd start looking like one-eyed Willie. Okay, time to refill the pantry. Jeez. We gotta, we gotta close that. We gotta close that garbage can, bro. Bottle, 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 bottle. Food, food. Oh, it's kind of satisfying though to watch that. This looks much better. 
Yeah, it does. We really cleaned up. Chuck. As for you... I think I'll eat it now. Hazelnut's my favorite. Aw. Uh-oh. Who's that? Maybe it's the uh, pastor. Philip, are you there, my dear? Oh, no. It is. You have a visitor. It's the pastor. It's Father Adams. Oh, just the person I would want to see. Hello, Phil. I hope you're doing well. Your mom says you're feeling a bit down lately. If there's anything I can do to help, you can talk to me, okay? Nothing to be ashamed of. The Lord tests our, tests our resilience by putting challenges in front of us. I'll pray for you, my son. And please, don't forget your parents are suffering too. Be compassionate with them. Thank you, Father. I appreciate you coming here. I'm sorry I couldn't be of help. Oh, you absolutely were, for me. Would you like some tea, Father? That would be lovely, thank you. I'll have the chance to admire that impressive hunting trophy in your dining room. It's the, it's from three years ago. Jacob's very proud of it. Phil. Damn, dude. He doesn't even like talking to nobody. Sigh. Ugh. Fuck this town. I mean, bro. What's that? So, so did the pastor visit or not then? God damn. Shit, my stomach. Uh, oh. Damn, bro. Phil, this is not good. Not good at all. Uh. Oh my god, I'm dying. I barely ate yesterday. Why am I so sick? Probably because you barely ate yesterday. Maybe I could find an online doctor? Hurts a lot. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Maybe if I wait a little longer, I'll feel better. Uh, maybe not. It's very late, but I should probably ask for help. Ask Noel or Piper? I think we asked Piper for help. I think we've been asking Noel for too much already. I think we I think we go the Piper route. Piper. Piper, you awake? I need your help. Uh it oh, hurts. I gotta ask Noel. Yikes. Are you awake? I'm very sick. My stomach hurts like hell and I can't stop throwing up. What should I do? I have no meds here. She's not gonna answer neither. Oh, I can't stand it anymore. Are we gonna go outside? I have to do it, I have to go out. Everyone's sleeping now, I could go down to the bathroom and get something from the pain, for the pain without being noticed. Oh my God, we're actually gonna leave the door. All right, I'm going out. Oh, there's skis. Whoa. Come on, Phil, you do it. Move the skis. Let's go. Remove the latch. Open the door. <sighs> Holy shit, we're actually gonna do it. I can do it. I just need to go downstairs, pick up the meds, and come back quick and quiet. If you're leaving, if you're leaving the door, just st stay out. You've, you've, you've passed the barrier now. You did it. You did it, Phil. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Bro, they're gonna see the vomit on the ground if you throw up on the floor. <sighs> Disgusting. Jesus, Phil. What meds are you going to take? Someone's going to wake up. Okay, here we go. Nice to see the rest of the house. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. 
No, this is nice. This is a breath of fresh air. I feel better. I have a bad feeling. No, this is great. Phil, this is fantastic. Front door. No way, I'm not going out. Where's the, where's the, um, where's, oh, this is the bathroom right here. Rose, can I please have a glass of water too? Sure thing. Mm. That was a close one, Phil. That was close. Let's keep going. Get in the bathroom. There you go. Okay. Pain's killing me. I need to find something for my stomach. Um, cabinet. There has to be something here for the pain. We're just looking for uh, for a little acetaminophen. Cream pot. Cream uh -oh. tube. Hemorrhoids. Nope. Mm -mm. Cough syrup. Pain relief. Hydrogen music. Mucus. Not what I'm looking for. Foot repair. Cream. Pills. Painkillers. Yes. This may work. Is that all we need? Just that? Just painkillers. Heard that. I thought something was going to pop up behind him. And it didn't. I should go back to my room before someone finds me. I hope somebody does find you. Very carefully. What the f You completed your first 100 steps this month. Shut up. Negative 12. Fuck. Hope no one heard it. You should probably stay in here a little bit longer just to be safe. Okay, Phil. Let's try this again. All right. Doesn't look like anything. <gasps> Dude, Phil, damn it. Indeterminate day. I think it's a Thursday now, maybe. 11.15 a.m. Shit. Oh. <sighs> shit, shit, shit. Will these fucking nightmares ever stop? Probably not. Uh, at least the stomach ache was part of the dream. I don't think my heart can take this much longer. Perhaps these night terrors are a symptom of my reclusive life. Perhaps, perhaps they are, Phil. Anyway, I have another exciting day ahead. Let's just leave him alone, Jacob. I don't think he knows anything about Piper. He's a larner. If that devil girl runs away from home, it's his duty to help us find her. Oh, shit. This time she emptied her closet, though. What if she's gone for good? If that's the case, good riddance. She can look for the family she deserves in hell. She broke her boyfriend's arm two days ago, and now this? Poor Jake, she just pushed him, but he had a bad fall. I'm so ashamed his parents must think we raised a savage. <laughs> and we didn't have enough with her, this lazy son of yours. <sighs> what a waste of time. Why even bother? He's probably sleeping or playing video games. The only things he's interested in. Oh. Piper ran away? Phil, you better get your ass out there and find her. Fuck. Come on, Piper, don't lose your mind now. I mean, Phil, you're not really open, dog. Are you there? I heard my parents talking. Piper ran away from home. She took all her things. I don't think she's coming back. I'm worried. This has turned into quite the situation we're rocking here, huh? What? Oh no. Hey, don't you worry, okay? She'll be back as soon as she runs out of money. <laughs> True! This time I have a bad feeling. You know that Piper can be a bit unpredictable. Maybe she's with that boyfriend of hers? Don't think so. They had a small fight. There were some broken bones. Oh my god. Oh my god, wow. <laughs> yeah, she's having a rough time. Her world's crumbling down and I'm not there for her. 
Maybe she needs someone else to talk to, a professional? Come on, it's my fucking family we're talking about. Who needs a shrink when we have the church? <sighs> I'll keep my ears open, okay? I'll tell you if I hear anything. Get off that damn phone. Something wrong, honey? Eh, Phil's sister Piper, she ran away from home. Again? Didn't she leave last month too? I feel for the learners. They must be going through a lot with those two kids. Ugh, the phone's ringing non-stop today. Uh-oh. What up, neighbor? Hi, Brian. My fridge is worryingly low on beer. I'm getting some six-packs before I suffer my stepfather's wrath. You know where they are. Hey, thank you for spending time with me yesterday. It was fun. Did you think about the anime con thing? Will you come with me? Well, I'm a bit freaked out being surrounded by geeks like you, but how could I refuse? Of course I'll go. Awesome. We'll have a great time. I promise. One of us, one of us. <laughs> Did you get the reference? The what? Oh, by the way, how high is your tolerance for cringe? Uh, mid to low. Enough to wear a Yuru Nayan costume at the convention? I can't show off my Juneko cosplay without a Euro 9 by my side. I don't understand a word you said, but okay, I guess. Whatever makes you happy. Brilliant. Not that it was negotiable. Mm. Good morning, Miss Sayashi. Hello, Brian. Noel, we need to talk. Please come to the office. Sure, Mom, something wrong? I'll wait for you inside. Nice to see you, Brian. Shit. Uh-oh. A reprimand is coming. Did you put the soda on the wrong shelf? You idiot. I'll be right back. Rat row. Or what happened? What's wrong, Mom? Please sit down. Damn, she got me kind of nervous. What's happening? It was Faith on the phone. Your father's girlfriend. Oh? He's been feeling unwell these past few weeks, so he went for a checkup. They found a tumor in his lung. Oh. Uh, he got the test results today, and... <gasps> Mom! I'm so sorry, honey. If they said it's very widespread, he doesn't have much time left. <laughs> no, this is gonna be happening. This is a fucking disaster, bro. Ugh. Hmm. Where the hell are you, Noel? So you're kind of weird. You're kind of weird, dog. Um. You've been silent for hours. Come on, I need to talk to you. Hmm. Womp womp. This winter storm is crazy. It's been storming all day, man. Jeez. All right, what have we now? Hey. Sorry I didn't log in earlier. I got terrible news. I'm trying to process it. What happened? It's my father. He's very ill. Terminally ill. <sighs> oh, God. I'm so sorry, Noel. Tomorrow I'll be flying to Chicago. I need to be by his side. Sure, I understand. When are you coming back? I don't know. I want to be with him throughout the process. It may be a few months. <gasps> oh. As much time as he has left. Jeez. I just wanted you to know. Months? No, no, well, wait. I'll take my next semester online. And Brian will replace me at the shop. What? I'm sure he'll lend you a hand in whatever way he can. Brian, no, that idiot will leave me to starve. Please, you can't leave. I need you here with me. 
Stop. Phil, stop. I can't keep going without you. You're the only person here who cares about me. The fuck is all this, Phil? My father's dying. No, I can't lose you. What am I supposed to do? Fuck you, Phil. I love you, but you're being a selfish asshole. Please, Noel. If you leave, I'll do something crazy, I swear. Oh my. This can't be happening. You're the only thing that keeps me going. Please stay, I promise to be better. To be the person you want me to be. Fuck. No! <laughs> Phil, I... What the hell, Phil? Emotional blackmail? Seriously? Don't you ever say that shit again? That's pretty fucked up, Phil. That's pretty. That's a pretty no-no thing to do there. Damn, this can't be happening. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Nothing will change, I promise. We'll keep texting each other like we do now. No, you, no we won't because I just broke my phone. Phil? like this you're scaring me please answer understand the shadow thing also don't know if cracking my skull on the wall was the was the play there but nor was the emotional blackmail the play either Phil I think I think we uh oh I feel bad for Noel <laughs> Hey, are you okay? <laughs> so unfair. As if I didn't have enough of dad dying, now Phil's acting like an asshole. I told him I'm leaving and he went nuts. He's really upset. I'm afraid he might be something stupid. Don't say that. I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> Moving to Chicago is the right decision. Do you hear me? You deserve to enjoy some time with your father while you can. Don't let Phil or anyone else ruin this for you. I know, but I'm his only friend. I'm afraid he may have a mental breakdown without my help. I already did. Okay, listen, if you really think he might hurt himself, let's call his parents. We need to warn them. Um, I don't want to alarm them unnecessarily. Help. You know him better than anyone. If you think he's in danger, it's worth the risk. I guess you're right. I'm going to call them. Uh-oh. I feel bad for his parents too. There's been like three days have passed and, and it's a nightmare for them. He might be out looking for Piper. I'm going to this place. I need to make sure he's all right. Fine, but I'm going with you. It's late. She's got a good family, good parents. Oh, fuck. What is the, uh, mm. Phil. Oh, it didn't even say the day. It just said Phil that time. Phil? I'm 
remember now. Wait. We found her at the bus station, sleeping on a bench. She was waiting for the night bus to LA. Los Angeles? What the hell were you thinking, you stupid fool? Oh. Jesus Christ, Piper. Is that me? Is that Phil right there? <laughs> the, the music is so off. Well, my work here is done. I'll ask the station to close the incident. And Jacob, don't be too hard on her. My Diane's the same age, and well, what can I tell you? Puberty destroys their little brains. Thanks, Gabe. I appreciate all you've done. He's gonna march right up there and whoop some ass. Look at him. Look at him go. Oh, maybe not. I thought he was. He decided against it. Good on him. Should I bring Piper some soup? She might be starving. No, this has gone too far. We're gonna have dinner like a family for once. Go and drag your sister down here. I want her sitting in this chair now. You heard your father. <sighs> Right. So I'll go get Piper. I can hear her over this music. It's so loud. Phil's room. Piper's room. Piper! It's me! Open the door! I think father will call the army if you don't come down right now. Coming in. Where is she? Where the hell are you now? Turn this shit off. Jesus. Is there a light switch? Wait, wait. No sign of Piper here. Did she run away again? I don't know. We're gonna go tell our parents. It's gonna be awkward. What? Piper, what are you doing? What's she? Is that a gun or a broomstick? Hey. She cut the power. What did she have in her hand? Was it? It looked like a shotgun or a rifle or something. Hang on a second. I'll give him one last chance. Oh, she's got it already. She got it under control. Nothing. Why don't we ring the doorbell like normal people? Because he doesn't come out of his room, Mom. and Mrs. Lerner. Oh, God, Mom. What if they found Phil dead, injured? What if they found Phil injured and went to the hospital? Or maybe they went off and Phil's in there all alone dying. We have to go in. Honey, we can't just break into a house. I know something's wrong, Mom. I really do. Must have a spare key hidden somewhere. Uh, we're gonna end up in jail. Check the mailbox. No, there wouldn't be a spare key in the mailbox. Clay statuette. Hmm, you could be a good hiding place for a key. Is she gonna smash it? Looks like the head can be detached somehow. Fuck it, no time for this. <gasps> Noel! Damn. Okay, Noelle's kind of going in right now, though. Put that key in. Ha! I knew it. All right, here we go. Open the door. It's locked tight. Not anymore. 
Got that spare key. You better stay out. Uh, Phil might get upset if he sees you. Phil trusts me, but might get upset if he sees someone else. Sure, just be careful in there. Oh. Dude, I don't know what Phil's status is here. Phil? Oh, it's the smell. Where the hell's the light switch? Is this right there? this happen? <gasps> Piper, but what? Piper, no! no! My god, what have you done? <gasps> Darling? Tripping that whole time? <sighs> Do you remember? The shadows keep asking me over and over. My nightmares are taking shape and I'm afraid they hide a horrible truth. Stand up. What the f Fuck, man. Oh. Oh. No, it's not possible. Oh. I have to go out downstairs. Look for answers. Wait, so what What happened to Noel? Did, oh. Noel, did Noel see... Can't remember. Oh. I'm so confused. I, I like. I have not known what was real the entire time that this has been happening. Oh. <sighs> Father, mother, Piper. My mind remains a blur. Many images pile up in a disjointed mess. But deep inside, I know something terrible happened in this house. Christ. Wasn't Piper right here? Hello? Is anyone home? <gasps> Phil? What the fuck have you done? I... How could you? You're a monster. No, I... Oh, God. Father. Mother. <sighs> no, Piper. <laughs> Stay away from me. I I, I did it. Uh, this can't be happening. Well, you have to help me. Please. I've started remembering. You don't understand. I remember now. It wasn't me. It was... I've been talking to you all this time. I heard your voices. That's what the shadow people were. Oh. 
Oh no. I saw it, Noel. I saw Piper falling into the abyss and I, I should have done more. <sighs> Phil. Oh, this is a fucking mess. Oh, what's going on? Oh my God. Um, call the police quick. Holy shit. What the fuck? What an absolute disaster. Oh God. Not looking good for Phil. I don't really think, hmm. Boy has a lot to explain. Everything points to the girl mur murdering her parents. Then she turned the weapon on herself and what a carnage. I don't remember a case like this since the Johnsons. And that was 15 years ago. You see the boy's room? What a mess. Who knows how long he's been locked up there. Poor kid. Guess he snapped after witnessing that horror. I don't blame him. Come on, let's finish quartering off the area. It's starting to get crowded here. Wow. Sorry I had to see that, honey. You think you can come with me to the station? We need your statement. Of course, whatever you need. Uh, Sheriff, will he be okay? Doctor says he's in shock and dehydrated, but he'll recover. Don't worry about him. He'll be fine. <laughs> How can I be so blind all this time? Don't blame yourself. It's not worth it. No one knows what people are going through. We, su we each suffer our own hell in silence. Damn. Sheriff kind of... Kind of truant. Uh. Holy shit. That was a fucking disaster. That was like... That was like the craziest fucking twist I've ever been a part of. Wow. Whew. What a nightmare. I have never witnessed something like that before. That was crazy. Wow. Whew. And that concludes tonight's episode. Poor Phil. He has a long road ahead to recover the light of his existence. The safe place he was hiding in turned out to be just a figment of his imagination. But on the other hand, isn't it for everyone? Make sure to shut the doors and windows tightly. Take a look inside your closet and under your bed before going to sleep. You never know what kind of horrors are lurking in the dark. We'll see you soon in the next episode of Midnight Scenes. Wow. That was good. I love those games. I love them. Oh, wait. We're not done yet. Oh, maybe we are done. Midnight Scenes is a safe place. Whew. Yeah. That was good. Um, <laughs> Holy shit. Thanks for watching. I know that's a little bit different than what we normally play. I really like these games though. I really like the stories and I kind of forget that I'm even recording a video by the end of it because I'm so into the story that's going on. Um, and holy shit, what a twist. Let me know if you saw that coming uh, and let me know what you thought about this game. Um, thanks again for watching. Love and appreciate you. Uh, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.